Many Nigerians look up to foreigners, especially Westerners, to set standards for them. This habit makes many of us think that the average Westerner is some way better than us. Not true. Not true at all. All over the world, Nigerians are setting the pace and are becoming the standard by which others measure themselves. This is very factual. For instance, in the United States of America, Nigerians are the most educated of any immigrant community. Now, I did not say one of the most educated. I said the most educated bar none. This means there is no subsect of the U.S. population that is more educated than Nigerians, according to the official data from the United States Census Bureau. 60% of Nigerians in the United States have college degrees. This is far above the American national average of 30%. Not only are Nigerians the most educated immigrant community in the United States, Nigerians are also one of the highest earning immigrant communities in America. Nigerians in the U.S. typically earn at least 25% more than the U.S. media income of $53,000. And this story is replicated all over Europe and North America. In Ivy League schools all over Europe and North America, Nigerians routinely outperform their peers from other nations. Just recently, I was reading about the Imafadom family of the United Kingdom. This family of Nigerian immigrants have officially been named the smartest family in the United Kingdom. All five of their children have broken national education records in the United Kingdom. At 13, Anne-Marie Imafidom was the youngest person to pass the UK's A-level computing exam, and she attended John Hopkins University in Baltimore and got her master's degree from Oxford University, all before she turned 20 years old. Her twin siblings, Peter and Paul, became the youngest persons to ever pass the University of Cambridge Advanced Mathematics exam. The designer of the famous car, the Volt, Chevrolet Volt, Jelani Aliyu, is a super talented Nigerian from Sokoto State. Because of him, I bought two Volts for my children. And Nigerians are doing well at home too. The wealthiest black man on earth is a Nigerian, Aliko Dangote. The wealthiest black woman on the planet is a Nigerian, Mrs. Fularensho Alakija. On the list of the top 10 richest black people on earth, more than half are Nigerians. A Nigerian, Otumba Mike Adenuga, owns the largest black-owned telecommunications firm in the world, and it is called GLOW. Many Nigerians lambast their governments because of all the issues we face domestically. But Nigerian governments over the years have achieved great things. It is doubtful if South Africa could have ended apartheid and achieved black rule if not for the leadership role Nigeria played in the anti-apartheid struggle. Not only did we commit hundreds of millions of dollars to that struggle, but of the three presidents who have ruled South Africa after apartheid, Two of them once lived in Nigeria under asylum. Both Nelson Mandela and Thabo Mbeki lived in Nigeria before becoming presidents. Nigeria spent over $3 billion and lost hundreds of soldiers to end the wars both in Liberia and Sierra Leone. Then there was a coup in Sao Tome and Principe. In 2003, the then Nigerian president, Olusegun Obasanjo, restored the democratically elected president back to power. And Nigeria's greatness did not start today. Before there were streetlights in most European cities, the ancient kingdom of Benin had streetlights powered by palm oil. The walls of the ancient Benin kingdom were greater than the great walls of China. This is a historic fact. 500 years ago, the people of Benin kingdom we're casting metal alloys and using them to create some of the most magnificent pieces of art known to man, including the world famous Queen Ida mask. Unfortunately, that great kingdom was destroyed by the British in 1897 in revenge for the defeat of the acting consul general, James Phillips army by the Benins. You see, if we do not tell our stories by ourselves, Others will tell it for us, 
and will continue thinking that they are better than us, when in fact, we are a great and promising nation. Do not listen to any leader who says Nigerians are criminals. We are not a nation of scammers, drugs, and corruption. We are a proud and dignified people with a veritable track record of greatness. Be proud of Nigeria. Be proud of your accent. Be proud of your heritage. My name is Ben Murray Bruce, and I just want to make common sense.